guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking all about cottage witches. Um, I have done many videos on cosmic witches before and I feel like I've very much been practicing cottage witchcraft and all about that so I thought I would share my knowledge or the stuff that I know so far anyway today. Um, so keep watching if that's something you're interested in. Um, I'm currently still obviously a cosmic witch but I'm also adding like cottage witch and green witchcraft to my craft just because they really interest me and they fit more with my current lifestyle. So let's get straight into the video. Well, a cottage witch, or you can call yourself a house witch or a hearth witch, is somebody who practices their magic and their witchcraft and their Wiccan or pagan journey at home. So their path and their journey revolves all around their house and their home. It's all about using your home and what's in it to help you with your witchcraft journey and being a witch. Like I said, it's about using what you have in your home to achieve your witchcraft goals. Most witches have the same goals, but depending on your witchcraft journey or what type of witch you are, you might use just different tools and practices to achieve those goals. So cottage witches love protecting and cleansing their home and their space. And through this, they do all different types of witchcraft. Their intentions come through their spells and rituals within cooking, cleaning, um, any products or item um, at home, literally any item within the home they come can become magical. This type of witchcraft and magic is all about cleansing and working with charms and spells and potions in your home and from nature. So some ideas are that I've written down are protection spells and rituals, protection tools like crystals you can use, salt, black candles, rosemary, pentagrams and charms and symbols. Um, you can do cleansing spells and rituals. Um, cleansing items like candles, incense, sage, plants, essential oils, etc. Plants and their properties, maybe explain about the plants you already have and their benefits. The best crystals to have in your home, a list of things you found in your garden and in nature. Maybe you found a leaf and want to stick it and write stick it in and write about it. Cooking recipes that have a spell and ritual to include in the recipe. Cleansing rituals and spells and the items you use. Any magical items in your home and using the elements within your home. For example, earth is like having plants or being in your garden. Air is bells working with the fae. Fire is candles and you know maybe you have a fireplace. Uh, water being moon water, rain water can all be used for cooking, drinking and watering plants. Research protection spells and rituals, research cleansing spells and rituals, research magical cooking recipes or add a magical intention to your own, um, research cleansing spells and rituals or again add a magical twist to your own. Research the best plants, crystals, symbols and charms and magical items to have in your home. Write about any magical items you already have. Write a list of things you can start collecting. And just do what feels right and explore this in your own way. And explore your path in your own way and what feels right to you. Because obviously everybody's will be different. Of course, there are always ways to merge different types of witchcraft together. For example, with cottage witchcraft, you may just explore that more at home, watch the moon and do your spells and rituals under the stars in your garden or with your window open. With a green witch, you may use your own hope homegrown herbs and fruit and vegetables when doing your cooking spells or rituals or spend lots of time in your garden or do your like spells or rituals outside. For the sea witch you might collect sand, seawater and shells and bring them home and surround your home in oceanic imagery to help boost your magic. The fae witch you may leave offerings around your home for the fae. There are always ways to make your path your own if you choose to be an eclectic witch. So firstly, it's up to you if you want to worship anyone or anything. Um, a lot of cottage witches may choose to worship their home because they believe if you look after it, it will look after you. Some good deities to research and worship within this type of witchcraft are Gaia, she's the goddess of earth, um, so you know, protecting 
your garden if you are more of like a green witch you spend more time outside within your garden Hecate is the goddess of witchcraft the magic and the spirit um, and Hestia of the home the hearth agriculture and family so she's perfect if you want to be a cottage witch and researching about her if you want to have a goddess to worship. So that is basically all the information I have so far about cottage witchcraft. Obviously I've kept it fairly loose because obviously everybody's journey is going to be different and the main thing about this path is that you do it in your home and you just use the tools and magic within your home. You do your spells and rituals more so at home. Obviously it's not a box, you don't have to stick yourself in it. You know, if you want to explore different options, just tie it in a little bit more with another type of witchcraft then go for it and obviously I just want to point out you don't have to labor yourself as any type of witch at the end of the day I mean I do because it just helps me um, focus more on the things that I love but you do you you do the path in your own way and you just do whatever is right for you so hopefully you enjoyed this video um i hope you got a lot of information from this video if you liked it please give it a like and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye